Let's see how Buddy Rhodes created a concrete bust of himself. We recently created a life casting mold of Buddy Rhodes' head, then made a casting out of clay to sculpt the missing parts of the bust before making the final mold using Rebound 25 Platinum Silicone. Next up, Buddy decided to make a cast of himself using his signature Buddy Rhodes press technique with the Craftsman Mix. Let's see how he did it. First, the mold and the support shell are reassembled. Then, we tightened it with bolts and nuts, and the mold was ready to be used. As mentioned, Buddy would be pressing concrete into the mold. He only needed water and the Buddy Rhodes Craftsman Mix, which he chose to use with the Universe Signature Pigment. Water reducer is optional, and Buddy skipped it this time. After measuring the water, he added and mixed in the pigment thoroughly. Then, he added three quarters of the Craftsman mix bag and blended it to a uniform consistency. Here's where a small amount of water reducer could be added if needed. He then incorporated the rest of the mix and blended it well again, scraping the sides and bottom of the container to include all the powder. Mixing continued until a soft, clay-like consistency was achieved. It should hold together when squeezed, but not be too dry or crumbly. Now we're ready to start pressing. The Craftsman mix was gently pressed against the mold, creating the signature veins and cracks of the press technique. Notice how Buddy didn't press too hard. The harder you push, the smaller the veins become. Since this is a small exhibition sculpture and won't experience any stress, really, reinforcement wasn't necessary. Buddy wouldn't be applying a backer coat. He simply ensured the piece had a proper thickness of around three quarters of an inch. Once the concrete covered the entire mold surface, Buddy created a clean, strong edge and leveled it off with a trowel. The piece was then covered with a moving blanket and left to cure overnight. Sixteen hours later, it was demolding time. After removing the bolts and nuts and with a little help from Milo, they removed both pieces of the support shell. Then Buddy peeled away the rubber mold to reveal the final piece. bust looks just like Buddy. The concrete has reproduced the details captured by the mold, and the press technique finish adds a unique touch. If you enjoyed this video, hit the thumbs up button, and remember to subscribe if you don't want to miss our future mold making and casting videos. Don't forget to check out these other videos in the series to see how we made the life casting, the clay sculpture, and created the final mold.